Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow the Starch Solution. The Starch Solution was a program developed by Dr. John McDougall and on his program I was able to lose 15 pounds and I have kept it off. If you'd like more information about Dr. McDougall and the Starch Solution, I will leave a link to his book in the description box below. On my channel, you're going to find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. And be sure and follow me on Instagram at ChewOnVegan. And if you're new to this way of eating or just feel like you need some more support, I started a Facebook group. And when you join this group, you will get recipes, support, and inspiration. I will leave a link to my Facebook group in the description box below. And if you're still not quite convinced about why you should go on a plant-based diet, I have a free little e-guide that I have a link to in the description box below, and it kind of outlines why a plant-based diet is good for you. And if you haven't already joined our challenge, it's not too late. It goes until January 16th. It's our back to basics, which means we are going back to the basics of the starch solution, which for me is the 50-50 plate. That is how I lost my 15 pounds, was following the 50-50 plate. I still follow it to this day. But I think it's a good reminder to go back to the basics. And if you don't know what the 50-50 plate is, it is dividing your plate in half visually, and on one side of your plate, you're gonna fill it with non-starchy vegetables, and on the other half, you're gonna fill it with whole starches like potatoes, rice, sweet potatoes. And that's how you build your plate at each meal. And during this challenge, I'm asking you to post pictures of your 50-50 plate. You can post them on our Facebook group. You can tag me at ChewOnVegan, and I will repost them on my Instagram stories. And if you would use the hashtag B2B2022, I'd appreciate it. And let's flood the internet with these great pictures of the R5050 plates. I thought it would be fun, a good way to reset, and to hold us all accountable. So if you haven't already joined the Facebook group, link is below. And uh, you don't have to join the Facebook group, but you know, post them, tag me, and we'll get you on my Instagram. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you two recipes that are low fat, high carb, great for maximum weight loss. That is going to be my theme for a while. I want to show you how quick and easy it is to make these meals. And these recipes are very basic, very simple. This is how I eat most of the time, 98% of the time. My meals are really just basic. And keeping my meals basic and simple and easy means that I'm gonna stick with it because it really doesn't take much thought. So let's get started on these recipes. So the first recipe is going to be a roasted root vegetable salad. This is something that is so yummy, so easy to make. Now I've got some parsnips, a red onion, some golden beets, carrots, a potato, an acorn squash, and some kale. And we're going to, um, prepare this kale in a way that's going to make it really nice and soft. We're going to massage it and let it sit for a bit and it's gonna take out a little bit of the bitterness and that's really easy to do and I'm gonna show you how to do that. But the first thing I'm gonna do is wash all this up, chop it up, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna season it. All right, so we're starting to chop everything up. I've got a big bowl over here, I'm gonna put it all in. So I've just cut up my potato. The squash, the acorn squash didn't make it. I cut it open and it just did not look good. So we're not using that. My little baby beets here, I'm just gonna cut in half. You could use whatever kind of beets you like. Uh-oh, lost one. And then I don't usually peel my carrots. I just lightly peeled my parsnip here. And I'm just gonna take off the very end. I've already cut that end off. But if you wanna peel yours, you feel free. And then you wanna try to get them about the same size so they all cook evenly. All right, I'm gonna finish cutting this all up and then I'm gonna show you how I season them up. I also wanted to tell you a little trick with the red onion. If you just barely take off 
the edge of the the root there and then you just cut it in half and then you just cut it in quarters and then it kind of all stays together so we're gonna just I like to do that when I'm roasting the vet the onions let I'm gonna whip up a quick marinade and then we're going to pour that all over these veggies so this little marinade is similar to my 321 dressing because I am going to use some um, I'm gonna use cranberry pear balsamic vinegar you could use any balsamic vinegar you want some maple syrup I've got some spicy brown mustard and then I'm gonna put some lemon and a little bit of salt so we're going to use two tablespoons of the vinegar. Maple syrup, the mustard. So this is about a little bit more than a quarter of a, of a lemon. So I would say about a tablespoon of lemon juice and then a good pinch of salt. And then you get your baby whisk and whisk it all together. So then you're just going to pour this over your veggies and then you're just going to toss till they're well coated. Since we're not using any oil, this will help uh, caramelize them, get them nice and brown. And this marinade is, um, you know, a little sweet, a little savory. So it's going to be a really good contrast uh, to the kale. And this might sound like a weird combo to you, a roasted veggie kale salad but it's really very good so i'm just going to continue tossing all these together till they're well coated so then we're going to pour these onto a lined baking sheet and you want to get them all spread out because you want them to roast and not steam so make sure they're in a single layer then before i put them in the oven i like to give them a sprinkling of salt just a couple pinches. I feel like it brings out the sweetness in all the vegetables. You can totally leave this out if you're salt free, but it's literally just a couple little pinches. All right, these are gonna go in the oven for probably 45 minutes. And while these are cooking, I'm gonna show you the second recipe. The second recipe I'm gonna show you is an Asian inspired noodle dish. Kind of like Pad Thai, maybe this is my version. It's loaded with vegetables. I've got red cabbage, I've got some sugar snap peas, I'm going to have red pepper, some mushrooms, broccoli, a little bit of zucchini, onion of course, there'll be garlic, some peas. So again, um, and I'll be using rice noodles, so again, we're going to make this veggie heavy, so you are diluting those calories from the noodles which are fine, but they're higher on the calorie density scale. So these are all lower calorie density uh, items. And so we really want to load up on these. Now, if you haven't seen my little trick for the mushrooms, wet paper towel, just go over it. And it's not my trick, it, I, Rachel Ray showed me. This way they don't get rubbery. All right, so I'm gonna chop all this up, then we're gonna go over to the stove and I'm show you how I layer it and then we're gonna make a really nice low calorie peanut dressing and it will be low fat. All right, I've got a little bit of water in here, not a lot because the mushrooms are going to put release a lot of moisture. So I'm gonna start with the mushrooms and our onion, about a half an onion. And I like a lot of garlic, so I'm going to use probably almost a tablespoon. Eh. That is your personal preference. And then we're going to let these cook until the mushrooms shrink down a bit. The water is boiling back here for my noodles. And I'm just going to use Pad Thai noodles. These take about four or five minutes to cook. So I'm just going to get those going and then I'll just set them aside because they're gonna go into the dish. All right, these cook, have cooked down a bit. Add just a tad more water. And next I'm gonna add the broccoli because that's gonna take a little bit longer to cook. So we'll just let that cook for a couple of minutes. 
All right, now I'm gonna add the rest of the veggies. Got a half a cup of peas. And then I'm gonna cover these and let these go for a couple of minutes. Probably like four or five minutes. I don't want my veggies to get mushy. I still want them to be a little crisp. So you just want to watch them close. So I'm going to make a quick sauce here. I just put two tablespoons of PB2, which is powdered peanut butter, which has like, I don't know, 80% less fat. And, and then I just added about the same amount of water. Then I've got some coconut aminos. You can use tamari, low sodium, soy sauce, whatever you'd like. And then we're going to add in some rice wine vinegar. And then a couple teaspoons, or excuse me, a couple tablespoons of maple syrup. And then I like to add a little bit of ground ginger. Like I said, this is my version. So I get to do what I want. Almost out. Then we're just going to give this a good whisk. And then I'm going to pour that all into my veggies. I'm going to pour in the sauce. Then we're going to pour in the noodles. And we're going to just toss it all around. Get everything incorporated and then we will serve it up. All right, I've got my kale. I like the Dino kale or the Dino kale. I'm gonna put it in the same bowl that I marinated the veggies in. It's got a little bit of marinade left. And I'm just going to chop it up quite, pretty fine. All right, we're gonna throw it all in this bowl. We're gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on here, maybe a tablespoon. And then we're gonna put a little bit of avocado. Yes, avocado. I'm talking like that much. What is that? I don't know, a tablespoon, a couple tablespoons? Not a lot. Then I'm gonna use my hands and I'm gonna go in here and just mush it all around. And this is going to help soften the kale. Some of that marinade is going to get on there. And then the avocado is going to give it some creaminess. And the lemon's going to break down the kale and really soften it up. And then, you know how sometimes when you're eating kale, you just chew it for like ever. And then you just keep doing it till it starts feeling soft. And I think. We are about there. And then you just let it sit for a couple of minutes, maybe five minutes, and then we're gonna add our veggies on top. Now look at these beautiful veggies, how caramelized they got. Oh, they look so good. And this isn't burnt, this is just the, the marinade, so. So let's scoop some of that on here. So this was about 45 minutes in a 425 degree oven. So the veggies already have the marinade on and now the salad has got, it's a little bit of marinade plus the lemon and the touch of avocado. Now how freaking good does that look? So here is your roasted root vegetable salad. Got your healthy kale, a little bit of avocado, just a little bit of healthy fat. Yes, it's a little bit higher on the calorie density but you've used so little. It's not gonna hinder your weight loss. So let's give these two dishes a taste. Oh my gosh, this was one of the craziest filming days I've ever had. I was, oh, it was a little bit stressful, but everything came out great and I can't wait to taste it. And yeah, I've gotta hurry because the sun's about to go down and I'm gonna lose my light. So let's taste these dishes. Let's start off with our Asian inspired noodles. Got all kinds of veggies in there. Broccoli, zucchini, sugar snap peas, uh, bell pepper, onion, mushrooms. I mean, so good. And then we've got some rice noodles, but as you can see, it's pretty veggie heavy. So it does dilute the calories. So let's give this a try. And I love that sauce that I put on there. Mm-hmm. Sorry, not very ladylike. Mmm, 
it's a little bit sweet. I did sprinkle some red pepper flakes on there and some sesame seeds because I like a little heat, I like a little contrast. Uh, my husband will probably put hot sauce on here, but it probably made about four servings, so uh, it's a pretty good sized recipe. So this one is excellent, excellent for weight loss and to feel really satisfied. This beautiful, gorgeous roasted root vegetables, oh, parsnips, onions, carrots, golden beets, well, onion, and then we have it over a bed of kale that I just made a quick little, um, not even a dressing, I put some lemon juice on there and a little bit of avocado. You could probably add some salt to this as well, but I don't think it's gonna need it. All right, I want a parsnip and some kale. Mmm. Those veggies are marinated to perfection. They've caramelized beautifully. Oh, this one is so good. And this one probably makes about two servings, I would say, maybe three, but so good. And again, very veggie heavy. Lots of fiber, lots of nutrients. Okay, I hope you give these two recipes a try. They're really quick and easy. Uh, I had a couple snafus in the kitchen today. It had nothing to do with the recipes themselves. It was unrelated. So remember, all my recipes are good for you. They're good for the animals, then they're good for the planet. And what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Don't forget to join the Facebook group. Also, uh, check out my e-guide on why a plant-based diet's good for you. And until next time, thank you. You make me feel like... Okay. La 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 la. Five second rule. And as usual, these two recipes have nothing to do with each other. I guess that's my MO. So I'm gonna take... I gotta... Oh my God.